I am a boy that just looks up at the sky. I wonder what's up there, the things that are mine. I hear about things like an elephant that never forgets. I see beyond what meets my senses. I want to see what's up there with my own naked eye. I'm a future astronaut, pianist, an extraordinary guy. I pretend to be the peculiar pearl at the peak of the plane. I feel as if only hockey is my game. I zoom past others when I'm on the rink. And I seem to vanish when all the people look at me. Because I have curiosity that often takes over my body. So I touch almost every single thing I see. And I worry a lot even if I watch a tiny bee. I cry for years when thunderclouds cover the sky because I am a boy that just wonders why. I create thoughts in my mind all my life. I hit my brain with imagination harder than a stabbing knife. I am a boy that just looks up at the sky. I'm the next Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, and I just try to be that great man. <laughs> I wrote this poem for all you guys using my own creativity. And I believe that there's a fire in you, whether you'd like to be an astronaut, an accountant, a firefighter, or a businessman. This fire that's inside every one of you must be stoked and mustn't burn wildly, but match the flame that lights your dream. This fire is in all of you and lies in your heart. This fire is known as creativity. And I believe that creativity makes life better. There are 10 dinosaurs in the jungle. One falls down, how many left? Math isn't always an easy subject for kids in school. But using my creative academics, I get myself active in my thinking and actually go out there and think of it as a real life situation. Other than just sitting down, I go out there and think of it so it's easier for me. I don't just read, I do it. Now, as a little kid, I used to think of my sandal as an airplane, my top bunk bin as an island. So that's where all my creative thoughts come from. So creativity is not about showing talents to others, but it's using it to your advantage in your own creative ways. It's about daydreaming in class, like I did about Edison for years. With the making of one device, the great American inventor, who I can never stop thinking of, became the most popular man on the earth. Yet like Einstein or Newton, he got carried away with his imagination really easily. What was so special about him that made him build the light bulb? He had the same knowledge as every other genius out there. What was so special about Edison? Edison was special because he actually went out there and he used his creativity to make it. Life is a journey, not a destination, says Ralph Waldo Emerson. Life is about what you do on the way to the end not your job at the ending. So catch those moments and be creative. Suppose you have a light switch, a drawer, and a rubber band. What's a fun, innovative way to turn on the light? Well, tie one end of the rubber band to the drawer and the other end of the rubber band to the light switch. When you pull open the drawer, on goes the light. If you use ideas like this in everyday life, life would be more fun. And who doesn't want fun? Make all your innovations in life come true. If you have extra papers left over from school or work, just make it into a paper mache mountain, or use it to make a mold to hold papers. It's that easy. The possibilities are endless. Be the happy person, the happy artist, or the boring English teacher. You can decide. Creativity, creativity, creativity. 
What's the difference between creativity and imagination? Well, simply, creativity is about creating and imagination is about imagining. Creativity resembles the re reality of thoughts in your mind. Well, imagination keeps them as a distant dream. Creativity is the making of the idea, while imagination is just the idea. Let's take Edison back, for example. Edison, everyone in the world wanted a way to have light inside that was controllable and wasn't a flame. But Edison was the only one who actually got, got out there and made it. He used his creativity. Everyone else imagined it. Last goal, I had a goal of reading 20 books. And I knew it wouldn't be that easy. It's 20 books. But other than just sitting down, I went out there and put signs all around me to tell me to read. I read all the time, and I did it. I read like 40 books. It's not that hard. <laughs> now think of a time you dreamed of being on the moon. Now make your mind believe that you're on the moon with the black sky, the yellow stars, the blue earth in the distance. The reality's better. Get the goals, create a reality, get your options to it, and prove your will to do it. The school model was developed in England in the late 1900s. But you always have to grow when it comes to your goals. Make your own reality. Creativity is often seen as the use of original thoughts, imaginations, and as my friends would say, my inner nerd. But to me, it's much more. It's the thought of creating, creating a smile or creating happiness on your own face. I realized this at the World Partnership Walk in 2011. The walk's basically when people walk around the huge park to raise awareness about global poverty, and I was volunteering at a huge stall. But I wondered why the kids at the front were smiling so much. They were just giving up food in the hot sun, sweating so much. But soon I switched jobs and I was in the front. But what I realized is that every time I gave a plate or a button to a young kid, to anyone, their faces lit up with joy and excitement. I believe that creativity is about creating a smile on your own face with the gift of giving. Their smiles were coming straight back to me. And since then, I've been motivated by other smiles and achievements, creativity. Happiness expands your life. Enjoy life and do the things that you've wanted to do forever. Creativity is also about living life to the fullest. Success is a journey of persistence, joy, creativity. How did creativity lead to success in my life now? Well, because of creativity, I'm an honor roll student who gets almost straight A's on every test because of the power of my thoughts. I make every goal I have come true because of the reality I make. I make every innovation I have a reality because of the inventions that I actually make happen. And I have a great amount of friends because of the smiles that I generate. Cre use creativity for better learning, better inventions, a better reality, better smiles to make the best life. Extraordinary people have lived through the ages and made creativity. Use your innovation for creation. You can use this as the power in you. Without Edison, we wouldn't have all these lights. Without Einstein, you wouldn't know about E equals to MC squared, theory of relativity. Without Newton, you wouldn't know about gravity or your weight. And without me, you wouldn't have this TED Talks. And you wouldn't have learned Abhijit Singh Satchel's theory of creativity. Thanks.